hi guys hello welcome back to my youtube channel my name is that girl Faye. if you're new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for joining me on here i am so happy to see you guys again anyways guys i just want to say a very big thank you to you guys for 1000 subscribers oh you guys are the real ah, i don't even know i don't even know what to say but you guys are the real g's honestly because it is because of you i'm here it is because of you i got to i got to hit this milestone that i have been anticipating for so long like honestly i feel so elated i feel so excited i know i'm not expressing how i feel right now that's because you know this is um the later right it's not just happening now it happened back in october yeah and that was a time where i was taking a break yes yeah i was taking a break i was a bit off social media i was off everywhere i was just in my space you know there's always we all have that phase so yeah i'm just so grateful to you guys i'm so grateful because it's because of you guys i'm here honestly y'all are always here to encourage me support me watch my content drop comments share like no y'all are really like the real you guys are the real deal and i just want to say a big thank you thank you so much for sticking with me i love you guys so much anyways guys as y'all can see this video today i've been getting so many questions like so many questions on my social media platforms on my youtube um comment section so i just thought it wise to film this video to answer your questions once and for all so yes this video um is about how i got admission in portugal and this video is going to be in two parts firstly i'm going to be telling you how everything happened how i got to get the admission here and secondly i'm going to um put you guys through for those of you that are trying to get admission here in portugal i'm going to put you guys through and i'm going to try as much as i can to touch every question that i was asked and I really hope this video helps you. So if this video is going to be answering any of your questions, do well to stick around and, you know, watch this video all through to the end, okay? So without further ado, guys, let us get right into this video. Okay, guys, so firstly, how I got admission into Portugal. Most of you here know that I was a student in Ukraine and I moved to Portugal due to the war that happened back in 2020. I moved here to Portugal and in all honesty, right, I didn't think that I had no expectations. Honestly, I had no expectations in as much as I knew that, yes, I don't want to continue doing medicine online because I'm not the type of person that can be serious <laughs> while doing anything online or while schooling online. So I just didn't want to continue online. That's the only thing I knew, but I just didn't know what was ahead of me. I just didn't know how everything was going to, you know, um, fall out or turnouts i must not fail to mention that i didn't get my admission the normal way you know when you apply online or however to a school and then um you just follow through with the procedures giving your documents or providing certain documents that are needed and all of that mine wasn't that way mine didn't follow through in that process or in that procedure after i got here to portugal i was sending emails to schools you know trying to see if there was any school i could do a transfer to so at that point we all that came from ukraine we got an email from a particular body i don't know the body the body that sent us the email but we got an email and i always say it's from the government because it's some part of the government i think so we got an email telling saying something about oh displaced persons from ukraine um and that if we want to school here we should provide certain documents to prove that we were students in ukraine so they listed out a number of documents that they needed and they also sent us some documents to sign so what we had to do was sign the documents they sent us provide the documents they needed and then send it back to them and wait for their response so that is what we did personally or that is what i did i signed the documents they sent me i provided the documents they needed they needed my transcript but because you know i was aiming to do a transfer but i didn't have my transcript at the time so what i did was i went to my school portal uh, my ukrainian school portal and i took screenshots of my grades and everything you know from the school portal so they could see that okay this is from the school you know it's nothing um forged or whatever i had to wait for response this is something that all of us from ukraine did okay so we had to wait for response 
and they sent us a response again or a while later and told us they sent us a list of six schools i think all over portugal and told us to place these schools according to our preferences and everybody did that i did that and i placed the school i'm in right now as my number one the placement of the school doesn't really mean that you know they'll send you to i really don't know how they did it but there were some people that picked some some schools as their first preference but they didn't get into that school they got sent to another school so personally i um put my school the faculty of medicine university of porto as my first preference and i can't really remember the order i put the rest one of the requirements was that once everything has gone through and then we actually get into school we're going to provide an actual transcript from our former school and then everybody had to wait for the admission list to come out all of this were just you know the procedures or the processes that we had to follow this process didn't um guarantee that you're going to get admission personally i didn't know what the result was going to be i didn't know if i was going to get admission for sure you know i was just keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that everything comes out you know in my favor or oh, the result of everything is going to be in my favor sometime in august the admissions list came out and i saw my name as one of those people that got admission into the faculty of medicine university of porto the school i'm in currently and i also saw a list of people that didn't get admission i don't know why they didn't get i don't know but yeah i got admission so that is how i got admission after the admissions process we had to go to school for an interview you know normally if you get admission you don't need to go for an interview i think you just maybe pay the fees required or whatever and then just head to school but we had to do an interview an oral interview so i went for my inter um, oral interview and they asked some questions which i answered and there and then i told them that okay i don't have my transcript here that i'm hoping to do a transfer i do not want to start from first year all over i'm hoping to do a transfer and i do have my transcript it's just that's gonna take time to get it from my former school and they said okay that I have a certain amount of time to provide my transcript and then they're going to check for equivalences and then from there they're going to know okay if I'm going to go to the next class or I'm going to have to repeat and there and then they told us that um we have to be able to speak Portuguese in my school they told us that we have to be able to speak Portuguese because studies in my school are not done in English they are done only in Portuguese later I got my transcript and I brought my transcript to school gave it to them and they had to check for equivalences and unfortunately the equivalences were not much i actually saw the way they do like their courses is quite different so the equivalences were not much at all so i had to start again from first year here in portugal yes i had to start again so right now i'm in second year first semester about to write my first semester exams so that is how I got admission here in Portugal and I've been seeing lots of questions you guys asking me do they teach in English honestly I don't know for other schools but my own school the faculty of medicine university of Porto they do not teach in English they teach in Portuguese classes are being done in Portuguese exams are being taken in Portuguese so everything we do is in Portuguese here in my school but I know somebody in another school um, that's the University of Minho and she said they do their own in English I think before it was in Portuguese but being that um, they came from Ukraine and all of that they considered them and they're doing their exams and their classes in English but that's not so for my school because my school have been insisting in fact my school told the teachers they told all teachers that they shouldn't teach us anything in English yes they did that they said they shouldn't teach us anything in English. So what I really, really like when I say um, I'm stressed out by school and this and that, medicine alone is difficult, right? Then imagine doing medicine in a language that you do not know or you do not understand or a language that you're learning is difficult and it gets frustrating and like some of the time, okay? So yes, my school doesn't teach in English, but maybe other schools do. Somebody asked me about nursing. So, um... My school, the University of Porto, doesn't have nursing, but there is also another school that is School of Nursing here in Porto. So now, guys, we're heading to the second part of this video. I didn't want this video to be too long. I just wanted it to be straight to the point, you know, no, mm -mm, straight to the point. 
so guys to so the second part of this video i said i was going to tell you guys how to um get admission here in portugal so disclaimer guys this might not be a step-by-step -step guide i'm just going to give you my idea based on the research and answers i've gotten from the questions i've asked and you know so this is just going to maybe be a little help i don't know how much this is going to help you but it might help you anyways guys so if you're looking for admission here in portugal the first thing you should do is look for the school that you want to attend if you're looking for a medical school for instance go to google search on faculty of medicine university of the city you're looking for if you're looking for the university in coimbra or Braga or Porto or Lisbon just search faculty of medicine university of Lisbon faculty of medicine university of Porto faculty of medicine university of Coimbra or any school you're looking forward to of course you're gonna get results from Google the next thing you should do is look for an email you know that belongs to that faculty once you find the email send them an email first that is what i'd advise because imagine seeing the admissions application and then you just go ahead fill it pay the fees i don't know if they need like application fees like some schools do in the abroad but imagine you're doing all of that just for you to find out that they do not teach in english and also another thing i didn't mention is my school didn't say okay they are giving us one year to do portuguese language before we get into school they expected or because they told us that one of the requirements is to speak portuguese or to have a certain certificate like a1 certificate a1 a2 i think when you're learning their language it comes in grades a1 a2 b1 b2 but they wanted us to have a1 certificates before the interview at least to know to show that you know you started learning the language so yes imagine you're going through all of these processes and then paying the fees that is required and then you're just finding out that your school doesn't teach in english so that is why i'm saying you look for the email first send them an email and speak with them ask them talk with them all of these schools their help desk are always very responsive and very very you know communicative and interactive so you ask them questions i'm hoping to um apply to your school i am not a portuguese speaker this this that 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 that, that. and they are going to fill you in tell you what to do tell you the procedures to follow and i'm also saying this because i noticed something here they don't really have international students here most of the students they have that are not from portugal are either from um, mozambique um, angola or guinea bissau or countries like that and all of these countries are portuguese speaking countries because they were probably colonized by portugal or something of that nature so they don't really have students from nigeria or students from ghana or the students they have here that are not from portugal are from portuguese speaking countries so you know they don't really have the whole barrier um language barrier problems that is why i'm suggesting that you send an email first talking to them and telling them okay this is um the situation and this, because i remember i went to the faculty of engineering to ask or make inquiries for somebody and on getting there i spoke with them and i told them that this person is not a portuguese speaker and is it possible that the person can come here and start doing portuguese classes and then get to um maybe for like a year you know how you go to a particular country and then you do a language course for a year and then the next year you start your actual course so and they said no there is no room for that in my own school this was the faculty of engineering university of porto so um whatever school it is you're trying to get into here in portugal look for them on google look for their email address and then send them an email tell them this is my situation i'm not a portuguese speaker this is what i want and they're going to tell you how to go about it the things to do and the procedures to follow okay if you have further questions on this topic please do well to drop a comment in this comment section ask me in the comment section and i'm going to be answering i am so tired of seeing these questions everywhere on snapchat instagram so i finally made this video and i really really do hope that this video helps you one way or the other and yeah we've come to the end of this video if there's anything you need clarifications or explanations on please do well to drop a comment in the comment section okay please do well to like this video drop a comment share and yeah see you guys in my next one bye